Hello there, Zaidi boy. Yo, coming to you from Steels and Millfield, motherfuckers. Dew, dew, dew. I don't know if you can see this. Un Yo, I just unplugged the microphonic thing. So now, guys, whenever you see one of these fucking signs, dew, dew, you know to w be aware and watch yourself. Murder, menace, mayhem. TTC? TTC is Toronto Terror Corporation. So I seen this fire two times, right? I seen this fire twice and it's a fucking scam. And I'm gonna tell you what it says. It's in Chinese, it's total shit. It's preying on good people. Cause they're ninja! It's preying on good people because they're weak people. On July 15th... On July 15th... This shit, read it, this bullshit. Just freeze frame it and, and read it. On July 15th, it's total shit. It pisses me the fuck off just to talk about this fucking thing. On July 15th, I dropped... The guy basically... I, I put it back there. If it's the real deal, it'll stay there. It's not the real deal, it's a scam. And I'll tell you why, because it's so well done. Nobody who goes through what this guy claims is this fucking calm about this fucking thing. The guy says on July 15th, he dropped a bag of money, life-saving money, that he borrowed from every fucking person. Like, his dad is like sick in a fucking hospital. Nice, nice driving. Nice driving. Hey, Drake. Nice driving. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> nice earrings, asshole. <laughs> I'm being a dick. So, uh, guys, like, so the guy says he has a bag of money that his dad needs. Like, this fucking thing almost has like a logo, marketing logo on it. It's such a fucking scam. He has a bag of money. He lost it at this intersection, of course. Right? He lost a fucking bag of money. Now, the fucking sign shows up at this intersection. It's going to show up at Middlefield, Brimley. Come on, it's bullshit. Like, I don't know why I left it there. Thank you. So now I'm the guy, like everyone's watching me, so you, you do what Ricky Gervais says, right? You, hey, fix that goddamn bad ah! Fix that goddamn bad hey! So guys, Ricky Gervais, hey! Fix that! The guy thinks I'm mad, so I'm gonna take it all the way. So this is a map of Toronto. Sometimes, guys, you go through phases. I'm trying to tell you and teach you by virtue of what I've done. Sometimes I will just look at the map to figure out what I need to do. Cause I've been, this is like the Bloor Danforth line. This is basically my barometer. Okay, uh, this is Kipling. This is Kennedy, this kind of bullshit. Actually, this is Kipling, this is Kennedy. This is Scarborough, this is Etobicoke, this is downtown. It's like, so now, East End, West End, this kind of bullshit. So guys, I literally, I literally will look at different stops and I'll think to myself, do I have any shit to attend to here? You may say this is like, this is a bit too much, but it is. I've lived in Toronto 10 years. I could look at the stop tape and I could say, well, my girlfriend, my not girlfriend, fuck, my fucking wife. My wife, my wife, she lived there one time, right? Now, I suppose my girlfriend, Laura, 
and my wife and I then, yo, so, okay, how about this? You, memories are triggered associatively, right? So when you, when you trigger a memory, it triggers sets of memories, right? Find things that appeal to you, right? And try and document them, guys. You gotta write stuff down. So now, memory, you have a memory of, in my case, my wife at the time, right? And then my girlfriend is suddenly there because I'm thinking of Pape Street. Guys, I'm the guy who, if I'm on the train, then I'll get off at Pape Street. You walk around places, that you have lived at, worked at, or like hung out at. You go back to the place. Why? Because it has sucked. Like there's some energy there that you need to go and you can reclaim this fucking stuff. It sounds bizarre, like bizarre, bogus bullshit, right? As my friend Dennis Mikhailov might say, hey Dennis, what up, Negro? Yo, Dennis Mikhailov, this guy. Atheist, check. Genius, check. Security guard, check. Accountant, translator. And the guy thinks like, I'm sure like that. Well, I don't know what he thinks because he's the guy who I originally claimed. I started saying this thing because of Dennis. I say, I, say, I say to this guy, you are the, like, basically something like this. You're like the most intelligent person I know because it's, it would appear that you're actually more intelligent than me. You're more intelligent than me, right, asshole? So, and, and besides, how can, one, how can one person, like it's basically like the insane mind cannot judge itself. The intelligent mind cannot judge itself. So how can you say whether or not you are more intelligent than the next guy? You cannot. Okay, these headphones, like, I need to give them away bad. They've become a problem for me. Like, they literally are trying to kill me. Like, everybody looks at these fucking things and starts eye-fucking them, like my cellmate would say. My cellmate? Selly, my Selly. I think about my Selly a lot. I sell you in like one fucking month straight in my fucking ass out. He comes into my cell and he's like, hey man, we're not going to have any problems, right? The first goddamn time I see this guy, he's like, yo, I got some cereal and oranges. I could tell right away he was like the man, right? He comes in and he fucking plasters me with this bullshit. Like they let, <laughs> yeah. they let him into the cell, right? They let him into the cell, he comes up to me, hand out. He's like, hey, he's like spider fucking Negro, right? He's like, hey man, we're not gonna, and he eyeballs me, do, do. So he says to me, <laughs> the guy says, yo, he's like, people, I fuck his dog. <laughs> people, I fuck his dog. This is what he says, he's like, <laughs> He's like, this is streets, of course. This is how you learn. <laughs> he says, I can feel people. He's sitting on the subway. This man, my cellmate, my celly. He's like, I'm sitting on this subway. I'm getting fat. Don't think I'm in shape. You're like, oh, the guy's buff. Yesterday, I, guys, I got baked because I met a guy called Tom. I got to explain this because my wife is so fucking beautiful and pissed off. <laughs> This is my wife definition of, of like to give you some context. She has this friend and as usual he rips her off. That's what she does. She lets people rip her off. This is I, something I'm scared to say to her. Sweetie, you let people rip you off. It happened that when she used to live in Colombia, not Colombia, she moved from Colombia to Edmonton. Colombiana, my wife, I know I need a fucking haircut. My wife's a hairstylist and she's out of town, right? So now. Colombiana, Bocaramangana, Bocaramanga, Bocaramanga, like just saying this word, it's like doo doo, bats flying out of like a cave, in the caves in the mountains. Like 
outside of every city, cerca de toda la mente, la ciudad mejor en, 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 en la país, there are mountains, montañas. So, guys, like, if I say these things, you want to go there, and the problem is, if you're a shit eater, I don't want you to go there, frankly. You know what, like, people in Rio de Janeiro, they're so fucking, like, proud of their Jesus Christ statue. Like, I'm just stretching right here, right? Why, what am I doing right now? Like, you gotta stop, like, I'm a soldier, right? You're a soldier. You need supplies, you need to stretch, and you need to reorganize, right? Like, I'm on the, like, I'm on the hill over there, and I'm screaming, eyes on target. As soon as I scream eyes on target, or line of sight, people suddenly, automatically, bang. Like, I'll be acting like an idiot, I'll be shouting to someone, or at someone. Then I'll be like, just saying, sir, didn't mean anything about it, sir. And then suddenly the army thing just, pff, it's like the mafiosi. As soon as you say, what's the matter with you? Suddenly, bang, mind fuck. It's too easy. I don't do it. I don't do it. When I do it, I'll just keep doing it, right? But this mind fuck, like soldier style or mafiosi style, you cannot fuck with the army. Do you understand? You can fuck with the police. Guys, I'm a Canadian. You can't fuck with our fucking army. There's no fucking chance you're gonna fuck with Canadian, like, CAF, armed forces. <sighs> By the time, like, the armed forces are involved, it's over. This is how good they are. Okay, like, Che Guevara, rest in peace, used to say that soldiers are the easiest, right? Soldiers are the easiest. Soldiers are not the easiest if you're in Canada, right? Because soldiers, basically, they have a gun, check and then they're just like employees therefore like they have a gun and then they get paid a salary so they're employees right so an employee is not going to be the same as uh, jefe like che Guevara was called jefe right the reason that he was called jefe is like pablo escobar like el capo like fucking jefe basically the reason is because the guy was a fucking doctor like he did everything right he did everything if you like it's like this book guys i will refer to you i'll refer you to this fucking book okay uh leading servant this kind of principle so the le a leader needs to have done everything or be doing everything the guy just sitting at a desk shooting off his fucking mouth this guy is an idiot he's not gonna have a job one day he has to be like hands-on on the shop floor like doing shit talking to the guys turning the knobs, so th I mean, that's how it's done, like, so then he knows what machine is working, what machine's not working, and you can tell a lot, right, some guy will be like, hey, did you know machine XYZ is not working, and you know this already, because you've been working on it, like, you decided, you put in your calendar, I'm going to spend XYZ time on, on the floor every day, guys, if you don't do it every day, it's not important to you, if it's important to you, therefore, do it every single day. So now, is exercising important to you? Is art important to you? These are all important to me, like reading and writing, exercising art, praying and meditation. Okay, if I don't do these things, and exercising, by the way, is comprised of fucking uh, stretching and weights and running. Like that squirrel. Like, do you think that squirrel, okay, like... Is that squirrel tired because it runs around all day? Or is it fucking wired because it runs around all day? This kind of thing, right? So Melissa Meyer of fucking Yahoo, she explains it like this. She's like, well, you people, you're tired. And I get it because you're working hard. And I, I, I know, of course, my people work 40, 60 hours at least, right? 40, like 60, 80 hours. Like 60 to 80 hours is how hard you should want, want to work. 60 to 80 hours is like about 10 hours a day, five days a week, no, six or seven days a week. Guys, lawyers, everyone thinks they're shit, but they're also rich, right? They make lots of money and all this kind of bullshit. So they work like 80 hours, right? So you have to work at least 60, like 60 hours is shit. Like 80 hours is 10 hours a day, like seven days a week, more or less. That's 70 hours, right? 60 to 80, so that's what that is. Now, there are no cheat days, guys. 
how can there be a cheat day if you take the thing seriously? How can there be a cheat day if you love the thing? When you start eating healthy and living healthy, like right now I feel like shit. On the one hand, like I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you the trap I fell into. I worked my face off so hard that I got a cramp in my leg, I got a cramp in my arm, I got a cramp in my neck, and I'm fat right now. Right, so babe, like I was trying to explain this, my, my wife, my sweet babe, listen, I met this guy, I met him again, I got a video, I don't know if I'm gonna upload it, the guy's name is Tom. Like, I met this guy and like, he became like my protege all of a sudden. Sweetie, I met this fucking kid and he's like my nephew, like, like he's like Danilo right now. He adores me, I adore this guy. Like, I'm not gay, sweetie. I have to tell people I'm married, then I show them the ring, and the ring looks so fucking gay, sweetie. That's why I got this goddamn ring. So this shoe, pew, pew, and this stuff, I did this thing, right? This, I call this thing fart, free art, right? It, 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 immediately you get the idea. The idea is don't be a douchebag. Right? Why are you going to litter? I'm just going to leave it right here. Why? Because it's stupid shit. It's going to remind people not to litter. Anyway, I'm done here. I got to get into my, my place. I don't want to pull up to my goddamn house with the goddamn camera out, you see.